Nyanka Cosplay here. This video is going to be a story time video. It's been a while that I did one of these and the cosplay competition my friends and I joined at FAX seemed like the perfect thing for it. So FAX is one of the bigger conventions in Belgium and it was finally happening again. Goldilux Cosplay, Acid Lemonade Cosplay, my husband and I sort of on a whim decided to join the competition at that convention. Like one moment we were discussing whether we were going to go to FAX or not and the next thing we knew we had an entire concept for an act. We had Scooby-Doo on our list for a while now and now we just had the perfect motivation to start on those costumes. Goldilux cosplay was going to be Velma, Acid Lemonade cosplay Fred, my husband Shaggy and I was going to be Daphne. So after that we got to work. Acid Lemonade already made some pieces, um, the rest of us hadn't, so Goldilocks cosplay and I went fabric shopping. We fine-tuned our act in a video call and then it was time to start on our costumes. I started my Daphne cosplay by using my favorite pattern and altering it. Then I just had to put everything together. It took some tweaking, but I got it done. After I made the dress, I made the scarf and the fabric is very, very pretty, but it was a pain to work with, but worth it. For the headband, I just used a simple headband that I already had and glued fabric over it and a ribbon to finish it off nice. The shoes are something I'm very proud of actually. I happen to have the perfect fabric paint and I made this cute little bow for detail. My husband made his own costume and I did help a bit with the patterns and sewing the collar, but everything else he did himself. Now you can't do an act without putting together an audio file. So Goldilocks and Acid Lemonade came over and we had a lot of fun looking for the perfect music and recording our lines. Here are some clips from that. Scooby! 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 Where are you? Where could it be? It's not easy to look this good. Oh please, you should spend more time looking out for Scooby instead of looking at yourself. Um, guys... <laughs> After we recorded everything, we started putting our sound file together. And while editing is sort of important to also already practice a bit, that way you get a good feeling of parts that maybe are too long or too short or need something extra. And on top of that, it's also just very fun to do. Don't be here. I have Scooby Snacks and he doesn't respond. Sorry, you're never going to find him. Do you have any idea how expensive these are? I'm sure now. Oh, I'm Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> Quick editor's note, I'm having way too much fun editing this video and looking back at all these clips of us putting the act together and practicing and I am just laughing so much and I'm glad I recorded my story time without looking at these clips at the same time because it would have been impossible to keep a straight face. After we were done with the audio, we just had to finish our costumes and practice. The day before facts, we all met at Acid Lemonade's house to finish up our costumes and practice, of course. Goldilocks and I helped out Acid Lemonade with his wig because it's very difficult to cut a wig, especially on your own head and they also helped a little bit with mine. We practiced some more and this time we also used some props and the proper shoes, which is also very important because everything might go smoothly when you're wearing your comfy shoes, but we all know cosplay shoes often aren't the most comfortable one. And it's important to see if you can do all the movements in them and practice it. Your stupid shoe, we wouldn't have lost to me. Um, guys... Goldilocks cosplay 
didn't use her real glasses to practice because she was afraid she would break them because she had to throw them off. So she used some of acid lemonade and good thing that she did because those glasses didn't survive. After a good night rest, it was time to get ready and leave for Fax. The con itself was a lot of fun. We saw a bunch of people again and a lot of people wanted to take our picture. And one of the most fun moments for me was when we saw an other Scooby gang and they even had a Scooby, which is amazing! After we explored the con a little bit, it was time for the competition. The pre-judging went smoothly and it was a lot of fun being backstage and spending time with the other contestants. Then the competition itself went by super fast. I remember not feeling my feet during the whole thing, but then the moment I got off on stage, they just hurt. <laughs> Luckily, I had different shoes that were a lot more comfortable. Now, being on that stage was a blast and we could hear the audience laughing during our skit which is an amazing response and we got so many compliments and I'm just really proud of what we did. And receiving pictures and videos from it just makes me so happy and I think everything looked amazing. Another quick but important editor's note, I forgot to mention how awesome the cosplay was in my story time. The cosplay were the organizers of the cosplay competition and they did an amazing job. One thing I loved was that they had this goodie bag for the cosplayers in the competition, which contained food and snacks and drinks. And that was just amazing. And I was so glad they did that because I definitely needed that um, when I was stressing out before going on stage. So thank you again, B Cosplay. After the competition, we went to take some pictures and then it was time for the prize ceremony. And... and the second place goes to none other than the Spooky Scooby-Doo Cosplay Crew! I sure hope they find Scooby-Doo. and proud of what we accomplished and it was just so much fun to do. I love doing acts, I love performing and being on stage and I'm so glad I got to do it with my husband and with my amazing friends Gold Locks Cosplay and Acid Lemonade Cosplay. We did take some more pictures after the prize ceremony and I think they turned out great. This entire day was amazing and I had a lot of fun. And I just cannot wait to do it again. I might even have some ideas for a different act, but this video was about facts. I think I've said it all again. I'm just so happy and so proud of what we did. Um, that will be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and bye! Trust the process. Dit is de tip van vandaag. <laughs> <laughs> het komt allemaal goed, maar op het einde pas.